painter and on this Saturday I've got some unbaggings for you. First of all, I'm going to start off with my pens that I got from none other than the Patriotic Team. Yes! Some of you have seen uh, me working with this pen. This is from the Patriotic Team. These, uh, This is one of her tips. Um, that she does also. They're fabulous. Love this pen. Can't wait to see what I got here. I also had ordered a uh, diamond uh, painting tray and it says patriotic team on the back of it. Love this. So I can't wait to see what she has sent. And these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. She hand turns these pens. Um, again, go check out her site patriotic. Oh my god. Look at this hybrid. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Mermaid. Oh my gosh, it has all my favorite colors in it. Blues and purples. And then she has the metal on each end. Uh, she put the single placer. I believe that's a four placer. Oh my gosh. No, it's a five placer. So, oh, that's gorgeous. Stephanie, I love it. Thank you so much, Redneck Beauty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Sorry, Patriotic Beauty. Um, she has many names. Anyway, I love this. Oh, wow. It feels so good. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Red. And I will link her uh, site down below where you can go to order your own pen. And this is one that I ordered especially for me. And she said she was happy to do it for me. It is called Aggie Pride. Dun 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 dun. Sorry, um, I am a huge Texas A and M fan. Um, that is a university here in the great state of Texas, and this is a maroon and white Aggie Pride pen. Love this, Stephanie. Awesome. Oh, I can't wait to use this. These are gorgeous. I mean, just look at all of her pens. They're they're fabulous, and uh, they are extremely high quality. Again, she hand turns all of these pens. Oh, I love these. Okay, Let's see if there's anything else in the envelope. Oh, yes, all right. She sent treats. She sent lollipops. And she sent a note. Dear Kara, thank you for supporting our small business. We hope you love your Aggie Pride and Mermaid Reef metal hybrid pens. Uh, patriotic team and this is again thank you for supporting small business I do have uh, where you can order her pens from and I will link that in the description below and she also oh she also sent one of her single placers and these are metal placers what makes them unique also in um, in addition to them being absolutely fabulous uh, tips for placing diamonds she does have the black rubber washies on there that make them stay in your pen so very well. So you want to put that in one of the pens. All you do is you simply, this is holding good too. Let's see if I can find another one that's coming out easier so you won't have to see me struggle. Well, Stephanie's got these in here good. All right. Anyhow, you take this out. I'm not going to make you watch me struggle with it. I'll get it out in a minute. Um, and you put the metal tip in and it works fabulously. I love these tips. As you can see, I do have the four placer on the end of this pen and they stay in beautifully. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Patriotic Team. I love my new pens. That is fabulous. You gotta go check her out. She's amazing. She is amazing. She is also uh, my lead affiliate for Treasure Studios Art. I am an affiliate for Treasure Studios Art and she is my fearless leader. Uh, if you choose to go to Treasure Studios Art, they have a ton of new artwork out. Some Christmas Lizzie Falcon. They have new artists that they're putting out all the time that have fabulous diamond paintings. Head over to Treasure Studios Art. If you use my affiliate code, Painter15, you can get 15% off your purchase of $40 or more. So remember, Painter15, it is in the description below as well. Go check out Treasure Studios Art. It's fabulous. My next package, those of you that know me and know that I unbox these often, this is from none other than Robin at Patty Wax and Distracted by Diamonds. Shit, jam packed this. Okay, so Robin spoils me. I had ordered this beautiful tin of super sticky Patty Wax. This is what you put in your single placer and they, they come in these decorative tins and I loved this. It was called Sweater Weather. And so that's what I ordered. 
But she also sent me one of her new scents of regular patty wax that you put in your multi-placers. I will tell you, these tips and patty wax are a match made in heaven. I don't have any problem with it. I, I love it. This one is called Money. And it does. It smells like fresh bills of money. Preferably Benjamin's $100 bills. Yes, more diamond paintings to purchase. Thank you so much, Robin. I can't wait to use money. Some candy. My candy. Oh my gosh. She has put two... Robin, really? This is too much. She put two cover minders in here. First one, just in time for Christmas, is a Santa. Look at that Santa. Oh my gosh. So cute. Two magnets on the back. Strong. I can't wait to use that in the holiday season. Robin, thank you so much. And she knows I love these. Love them. Cupcake cover minder. And it's got little strawberries on the top. Isn't that cute? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, there's more. Does it open? Oh, it opens and there's more super sticky patty wax inside. Oh, no way. Oh, this is fabulous, Robin. Thank you so much. I love it. Oh, that is awesome. Check out her site. You got to stock it. You know what you have to do. Uh, she fills her site up every day, uh, her Etsy shop up. I will have her Etsy shop listed below as well. Um, she uh, puts items on her site at 12 o'clock her time, 11 o'clock my time, which is central. So um, she's, she's in Ohio, so um, she puts hers, I, I believe that's Eastern Standard Time, so she's an hour ahead. So I look at 11, and then she also stocks it at 9 o'clock her time, so I look at it at 8 because I am central. So you got to adjust your time to get in that shop when she puts her stuff in because it goes quickly because it's so awesome. And I got some stickers. All right. Okay, this is a gentleman like screaming, yelling, or hands up, or his tie is flying, and looks like his mind is blown. I don't know, that's interesting. And then a bell and a deer for Christmas. Oof, so fun. All right. Cara Bobera, we wish you a very happy holiday. We're delighted you came back to visit. She writes a little note, and then XOXO Robin. Oh, gosh, Robin, that is so nice of you. I can't believe you put on in all these extra things. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to put this to the side. Okay, my next item to unbox. Um, Saner Direct, Saner, Saner, however you pronounce it, contacted me again to review a product for them, and I said, absolutely, I will be happy to do that. So this is my second product I am reviewing for them. And these are diamond painting tools. So I was more than happy to say, yes, send it on to me. So that's what they did, and that's what this is. So let's see what we got in here. First of all, we've got a um, customer service card um, with, uh, they are an Amazon company. Uh, it says, welcome to Saner Direct, and they want me to review it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a cute, look at that. It looks like a cute little tackle box. I love it. All right, so you get your tackle box, and you can, you know, add stuff to it, uh, store stuff in it, what have you. Okay, can I get it open? Is it opening? There we go. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> they first have put labels in here, so you can label your containers with your DMC codes or symbols if you want to do that. There is enough wax in here to sink a battleship. Look at all that wax. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, so that's a lot of pink wax. This would be a good starter kit for someone just getting started into diamond painting. And I looked at the price on this. It is so reasonable for everything you get. It's like 14 or 15 bucks. It's not expensive at all. Uh, lots of baggies, so you can store your drills in them. Okay. Okay, this is a description card that describes each of the items in the box. Uh, this is glue. So what do you need glue for? Glue is glue comes in handy and it's you know the type of glue you use and I'm certain this is probably designed for diamond painting. Um, if you have an area of your canvas where maybe some of the double-sided adhesive has come up or it's not as sticky as you'd like it, you can put this glue down to adhere your diamonds to the canvas. So that comes in handy every once in a while. I normally don't have problems, but you get your tweezers. These are the stabbing kind, so you'll have to be careful. It does have a, a little um, protective uh, sleeve on it but it doesn't protect from the tip. So you've got to be careful with these. They're very handy. Um, 
a lot of people that play square diamonds like to use tweezers instead of the diamond painting pen. But just be careful you don't stab yourself. All right, these are awesome. <clears throat> these come in really handy for scooping out your diamonds uh, from the container to put in your diamond painting tray. So those are handy. Love those. Good grief. Look at all these pens, people. Diamond painting pens galore. All right, so these are your basic pens, but they all have different types of placers on them. They're not labeled, but um, these are, and, and these are not placers on this one. I believe that looks like a six or seven placer and a single placer. These are straighteners. So what you do with these is these don't place diamonds. You can run them down your rows of your diamond painting uh, to straighten out your drills. This comes in especially handy if you're working with squares because I always have to straighten out my squares. Some more single placers and multi-placers. Good grief. And these are curved a little bit, which helps with your placement, it places them a little bit more easily. Um, here's some three, a couple of three placers, actually three with three placers on the end and a single placer. And again, you can pick up three diamonds at a time. And then these, I don't know, these are, are the big guns. They don't have the number on them, but I would say like 10 placer maybe, I don't know. But there's three of those. I mean, all the diamond painting pens you could ever want. Um, trays, oh my gosh, let's get into trays. There are trays and trays and more trays. Okay, this is just a container, like if you wanna store your wax or you have trash drills that maybe are misshapen or what have you and you're working on a project and you need something to hold them in. So that's that. All right, more tweezers. Okay, so you've got plastic tweezers. Um, <clears throat> I do not use plastic tweezers all that much. I just find that the metal ones are much more sturdy for my use. Um, you know, I'm a hard presser, I'm a hard scraper, so um, these have a tendency to crack, but if you like them, they're in, oh my gosh, okay. These are so cute. These, I hope they have the, I don't know if they have the battery in them or not, but these light up. These are diamond painting pens that light up. Oh my gosh, okay. So the, okay, so if you want a single place, you can take your multi-placer out and put a single placer in. And it lights up so you can see your drills more easily as you're placing them. And look at that cute, it looks like an owl on there. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love this. Thank you so much. Another spoon. Oh, and another container of glue. I mean, you're gonna have plenty of everything in here. Okay, how many of these containers do we have? We have three of these containers. The hits just keep on coming. Yeah, and you just can put your wax or your drills in here. These are super, super handy. These are canvas clips. And so if you've been watching me and noticed with Lumina, Lumina was much bigger than my drafting table. So what I had to do was roll the canvas with the diamonds facing outward. It's always facing outward. And you need something to clip your the sides of that roll together. So these are handy little clips for your canvas. That's awesome. Again, this is an awesome little starter kit for somebody that is starting diamond painting. And you know, I'm gonna be using some things in it because I don't have some of these things either. Look at all these trays. Oh my gosh. And again, this is like a $14 or $15 kit. This is crazy. So you've got these, you've got your basic green, four green boats. And, you know, again, sometimes it's handy for me to have um, trays loaded up with different colors of drills, especially if you're working with a lot of confetti, so you can have multiple trays going. Big tray, and I like this too, because the sides are a little bit deeper, so that when you're shaking your, your drills, they don't spill out. Two of these big trays, oh my gosh. And then a, a handy, this is a compartmentalized case for extra drills, or if you want if you want to use it, if you have a smaller diamond painting that you want to put the drills in a smaller container, you can get up in this, and it's already numbered for you. So that is fantastic. And again, it all comes in this cute little tackle box. All right, folks, that's what I've got for you today. Once again, Robin, thank you so much. I love my cover minders, love my patty wax and sweater weather. Red. Stephanie, Patriotic Beauty, I love these pens. Thank you so much. I can't wait to use them. And Santa Direct, I will have them linked, the, their Amazon shop linked below as well. Thank you for all these goodies. This is fantastic. 
All right, it is a banner Saturday for unboxing. All right, that's all I got for you today, folks. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend, enjoying this great weather. Well, I'm enjoying my great weather. I hope the weather where you are is fantastic as well. I'm going to leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.